So this video carries on from the last one that I did on binomial and using your calculator to do binomial stuff. So this one is um, the next level up of questions, which is using the inverse binomial, working backwards. We know the probability we're working out the value of x. I'm sticking with the same situation of drawing pins, landing point up five eighths of the time, and I'm dropping 10 of them. So it's following this binomial distribution here. Ted trials probability of success is five eighths. Um, so for which value of x could we say that the probability that x is less than or equal to that number um, is 0.553? So hop on over to your graphics calculator. We're in the stats menu again, that second one there. And we are going for binomial. This time we're going to use this option here for inverse binomial under F3 because we're working backwards. This time we know a probability. This is like the inverse ones of normal, if you've worked through those ones on already. Um, there's another video on that if you need it. Okay, so the area we're looking at is this 0.553. So that's the probability that we asked for in the question. If the probability is this, what was x to work it out? Number of trials in our thing is 10. And the probability of success is 5 eighths. Pop all of those in and press execute. And this tells us that that x value there was a 6. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 6 will give us that required situation of 0.553. This means that our chance of dropping 6 or less um, of these drawing pins point up will be 0.553. Now, one thing to note, very importantly, this inverse always works with a less than or equal to. If you're given it the other way around, you need to do a, a one minus thing on it like we had to do up here. So just bear in mind that this inverse that the calculator does will always go to less than or equal that number of x.